Hi, Brentech here, where tech is made simple. So if you are running an Intel-based system, just to let you know that Intel, yesterday on the 6th of August, has released its latest GPU driver, which is version 32.0.101.6987, and it's past the WHQL, which is the Windows Hardware Quality Labs test, which means it's certified and is guaranteed by Microsoft. And that's for the Intel Arc, Iris and XE graphics for Windows 10 and Windows 11. Now this is quite an important driver update because according to the release notes, it's bringing some nice under the hood performance improvements to Windows. So if we scroll down, here we can see this is where you can click on to get the driver. Size is 949.8 megabytes. And here's the highlights. Intel graphics software now supports shared GPU memory override control for built-in Intel Arc GPUs in select Intel Core Ultra processors, that's Series 1 and 2, in Windows 10 and Windows 11 host systems. So basically what that means is that it lets you select how much of your normal system RAM the built-in Arc GPU can use, which I think is a nice move. And the second key highlight is for Intel Core Ultra Series 2 with built-in Intel Arc GPUs. And it's mentioned power management optimization for Intel Core Ultra 200V Series, codename Arrow Lake H, as you may well know, devices for improved performance and frame pacing with lower power mode. So basically that means Intel can now deliver better with limited power consumption. So I think both those highlights are nice moving in the right direction. And then when it comes to the gaming highlights, Intel has turned on Game on Driver support for B-Series, A-Series, graphics GPUs and other built Intel Arc GPUs. And apparently you'll notice better performance in graphics when playing games like Battlefield 6 Open Beta or Mafia the Old Country. And then there is game performance improvements on Intel Arc B-Series graphics GPUs versus the previous driver, which was the June 2025 driver. So for Doom the Dark Ages, up to 6% average frames per second uplift at 1080p with path tracing. And that's compared, as mentioned, to the previous driver. And here's all the platforms and operating systems supported. And I'll leave this page download link in the description for easy access and reference. And there's also reports saying that if you're running Windows 11 version 24H2 with this new driver installed, animations are also snappier in Windows 11 24H2. So a lot of performance, so a lot of performance improvements that this latest GPU driver from Intel has introduced. But as I always say with drivers, unless you are really looking out for a new feature or an improvement or a performance boost, don't install the latest and greatest if you are happy with the way your system is running. Only install these driver updates if you have a problem or obviously there is a feature you are looking out for and want to get your hands on because drivers are known to cause issues on Windows as I have mentioned numerous times on the channel. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.